Hello, welcome to Brain Box Challenge, the programme that will help you remember where you left the remote control. Not that we want you to use it for the next half hour, as our competitors battle it out in games of language, logic, memory and maths. Our reigning Brain Box champion is Philip Morris, a professional speedway rider, and he'll have to be firing on all cylinders to hold on to his title here. And these are the challengers who will compete against our champion in today's five brain games. The winner at the end of the show will get the chance to play the bonus game and will return tomorrow to defend their title with the hope of climbing closer to the £10,000 jackpot. All right, well, let's look how much money you've got in your brain bank. There we go. That's the ladder stretching up. And you've got £500 at the moment. And for this round, £500 is secure. We're not so cruel as to take your money <laughs> away now. So that may encourage you to go on. But uh, certainly you can bear in mind who your challenger would be. So let's find out who that is. There you have it. That's uh, Mark Scales. He's 31 and a house husband. So that doesn't reveal a great deal about him, I suppose. But uh, are you going to take the challenge or take the check? Yeah, I'll take the challenge. You'll take lose, the challenge. So. You've got nothing to lose. So yeah. bring on Mark Scales. House husband Mark scored highly in each section of our test, a contributory factor being his many hobbies, including acting, amateur filmmaking and playing the piano, all the training Mark needed to excel at our memory test. All right, so you're, you're strength in everything, so that's, that's encouraging. Apparently so. <laughs> yes, well, we'll find out, <laughs> won't we? But amateur film, or, or not amateur film, but filmmaking, what, what do you do? How do you make um, them? It's just friends and family. We make uh, spoofs of well-known Hollywood films, so like Star Wars or Indiana Jones. I'm not sure that helped you with your, uh, your skills of this game. I'm not sure how that does help. It's interesting in its own right, but uh, let's see how you get on. We're going to find out now which brain game you're going to face. <laughs> This is Third Dimension, which is a spatial game. You're both going to see a 3D shape appear on the screen. And what you have to do is to buzz in when you can tell me how many faces the shape has. In this example, it's a pentagon column. So it's got five long sides and another face at top and bottom. So the answer there would be seven. The shapes will gradually become more difficult to decipher and they'll rotate and twist. Right, maybe it's to catch you out, maybe it's to show all the sides that there are. I hope you understand. In that case, let's play Third Dimension. Who's buzzed there? It's Philip. Five. Five faces is correct. You get the point. There we go. We see the five faces. Then we go on to the next one. And Mark's in this time. Eight. Eight faces, indeed. There it is. It shows you the eight. OK, next one. Right, that's uh, Philip this time. Twelve. Twelve faces. Jolly fast. Yep. OK. Next shape. Yes, Mark. Fourteen. Fourteen faces. Absolutely right. OK. Next shape. Mark. Twelve. Twelve faces. That is correct. Well done. Brilliantly played. OK. Let's move on to the next one. OK, Mark. 15. 15 is not right. We go over to Philip. 11. 11 is correct. OK, next one. Mark. 12. Is correct. So, well done. Quite often you might get one person who's just completely hopeless at that game and someone who's quite good. In this case, you're both brilliant at it. Philip, you've got three points, but Mark, you won with getting four in that round. And, Philip, I think you've uh, proved uh, that uh, speedway drivers can be good at uh, <laughs> mental agility and ability. What are you going to go home with? You're going to go home with £500, and you had a cash bonus as well, which you made on the end game, which is £250. 
you don't have to be a mathematical genius to add those <laughs> two together. So you go away with £750. So thank you very much for taking part. Thank you. Uh, goodbye and well done. Thank you. Well done. <laughs>so maybe that maybe that was a good game for you to start with yeah well, that's one of the ones i wasn't looking forward to actually like, there's a couple he had there that he just he just knew instantly but then you could match him yeah so let's look at your brain bank 100 pounds and uh, you're going to come to a decision you can either take the money or take the challenge but let's see who your challenger would be if you were going to go on <laughs> She's Sally Edward, 37, and she's a full-time mum. Uh, you've described yourself as a, a house husband, so you've got a, a sort of similarity of yes. uh, uh, time spent during the day. Are you going to take the check or take the challenge? I think it's a little bit too early to leave, so I'll take the challenge. Jolly good. Let's meet Sally Edward. Sally used to work in IT, but she didn't score well on our numerical test. She has a music degree and she's a keen trombone player. She's even played at Glastonbury. Her memory proved to be her strongest skill. Welcome, Sally. Can Thank I ask you. you about the trombone playing, first of all? You played at Glastonbury. One wouldn't I necessarily did. associate the trombone with Glastonbury. Or Glastonbury I wasn't on my own. I was with a um, uh, psychedelic funk band, so um, yes. that kind of fitted in a bit better. Well, you're at home being a mum and you're at home being a dad, so some people suggest that allows people more time to do puzzles and quizzes and things. But they don't have kids. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, I know what you mean. OK, well, let's find out which brain battle you'll be facing. This is the game called Word Matrix, a language game. In this game, you'll each be given your own word matrix. Each matrix contains its own core letters. Here's an example, C-E-R. And once the matrix begins, other groups of letters fly past on the screen. And if the letters O, F, F, I fly past, you could put that at the beginning of the core letters to make officer. Or if you saw A, M, I, C, well, that would go at the end to make ceramic. There are seven possible words hidden in the letters which fly past. And you'll get one point for each one. Simply shout out the word when you identify it. However, you call out any incorrect words, this could count against you in the event of a draw. Now, by the rules we play here, the challenger has to go first. So, Sally, your core letters are C-A-L. Let the matrix begin. Rascal. Clinical. Calling. Medic oh. Stoical. Well, now, you definitely got four there. Rascal, clinical, calling and stoical. Uh, you missed out on callow, calves and calmed. But four is a pretty good score. It gives a target for Mark. Here we go, Mark. Here are your core letters. And let the matrix begin. Juniper. Perusal. Permit. Caliper. Sweeper. Perdin. OK, um, you didn't find perkia or period. You did find uh, juniper, perusal, permit, caliper and sweeper. And you had perdin or something that mm. uh, I think you invented, but, or maybe you're just a very keen Scrabble player and you find some extra words. But the effect of that is you can probably follow Sally, although four was a, a good number. It's not quite as good a number as five, <laughs> so you were pipped uh, by Mark. So you didn't make any money, so you leave with nothing from us. Thank you for taking part Thank and you. goodbye, Sally. Good luck. Thank you.